How does gasification improve our environment? Biomass gasification provides opportunities for a renewable energy economy because biomass production removes the same amount of CO2 from the atmosphere as is emitted from gasification and combustion. Gasification produces energy with a significantly reduced impact when compared to traditional technologies. The process can create fewer air emissions while using less water and generating less waste. Biomass materials and organic waste materials are wasted by every city and landfill. Gasification can reduce the environmental impact of waste disposal because it can use waste products as feedstocks, generating valuable products from materials that would otherwise be disposed as wastes. What is biochar? Biochar is a much needed waste product created by biomass gasification. This charcoal like material is a form of carbon capture and storage. Biochar is a way for carbon to be drawn from the atmosphere and is a solution to reducing global warming. Biochar can sequester carbon in the soil for hundreds to thousands of years. It is nutritious to plants and is an eco-friendly solution to fertilizer. Emergency Situations On October 15, 1973, the United States nearly suffered a major disaster. The members of the Organization of Arab Petroleum Exporting Countries, or OPEC, declared it would no longer ship oil to the United States. This declaration was made in response to the United States' decision to resupply the Israeli military during the Yom Kippur War. By 1974, the price of oil had increased by four times. This time at crises is better remembered as the 1973 oil embargo. The embargo began a chain of events that ultimately weakened the United States' economy. Industry was suffering, and stocks were crashing. Some families were faced with a question. Do I feed my family? Or, do I put gas in my car, so I can go to work? This time period was the first event since the Great Depression to have a persistent economic effect. Similar events have occurred in more recent times, and the likeliness of even more serious events happening is high. On August 29, 2005, Hurricane Katrina caused 53 different levee breaches in Greater New Orleans, submerging 80% of the city. The storm also devastated the coasts of Mississippi and Alabama, making Katrina the most destructive hurricane in the history of the United States. As of May 19, 2006, the confirmed death toll stood at 1,836, mainly from Louisiana, with 1,577 deaths, and Mississippi, with 238 deaths. Many of the fatalities occurred after the storm, partially due to limited food, shelter, drinking water, and transportation available. On Thursday, August 14, 2003, a massive widespread power outage occurred throughout parts of the northeastern and midwestern United States. The blackout only lasted approximately three days. The blackout contributed to at least 11 confirmed fatalities. There were many incidents of looting, as well as more serious crimes reported. You could not call for help. Cell phones did not work. This was mainly due to the loss of backup power at the cellular communication sites. People panicked and purchased any available non-perishable food. After one day, all of the grocery stores were empty. Many areas had no drinking water. Gas stations were shut down, limiting fuel availability for transportation or emergency backup generators. Imagine if the blackout had lasted one week or one month. Imagine if a terrorist attack occurred or a serious natural disaster caused major damage to our power grid. A catastrophic event could disrupt the supply of petroleum in this country severely. Biomass gasification technology could be critical in meeting the energy needs of our essential economic activities, including the production and distribution of food, drinking water, and emergency transportation. Biomass gasification is a solution for emergency transportation applications. Stationary engines can also be fueled by biomass gasifiers to run electric generators, pumps for clean drinking water, and can power numerous types of industrial equipment. Gasifier Designs The Updraft Gasifier In an updraft gasifier, the air is introduced at the bottom of the reactor and the gas is drawn at a higher location. There are many disadvantages of an updraft gasifier design. The volume of tars present in the gas is excessive. Only carefully selected fuels may be used. The reactor has a sealed lid that has to be removed whenever fuel is added. The gasifier operator has to be careful to avoid the flames, smoke, and toxic fumes that escape the gasifier when the lid is removed. 
Therefore, abstract gasifiers are an inadequate design for most applications. The cross-draft gasifier. Cross-draft gasifiers have certain advantages over updraft and downdraft designs. The cross-draft gasifier typically takes 10 minutes from startup to produce gas. This time period is much faster than that of downdraft and updraft units. However, they have several disadvantages, such as high exit gas temperature, poor CO2 reduction, and high gas velocity. Unlike downdraft and updraft gasifiers, the ash bin and reduction zone and cross-draft gasifiers are separated. This design greatly reduces the selection of fuels that may be used. The downdraft gasifier. The downdraft gasifier has a sealed lid that has to be removed whenever fuel is added. Just like with the updraft designs, the gasifier operator has to be careful to avoid the flames, smoke, and toxic fumes that escape the gasifier when the lid is removed. Unlike the updraft gasifier, the problem of high tar vapor content in the gas is minimal in the downdraft gasifier. With downdraft designs, air is introduced into downward flowing solid fuels, and gas is drawn off at the bottom. This process causes the tar vapors to pass through a high temperature zone that reduces these tars into gases. The downdraft gasifier typically takes 20 to 30 minutes from startup to produce syngas. This time period is shorter than updraft gasifier designs. The downdraft gasifiers prefer to updraft and crossdraft gasifiers for most applications. The stratified downdraft gasifier. The updraft, crossdraft, and standard downdraft designs require a sealed lid that has to be removed whenever fuel is added. On these designs, the gasifier operator has to be careful to avoid the flames, smoke, and toxic fumes that can escape the reactor. These gasifiers typically require the production of gas to be stopped when refueling and have long startup periods for gas production. The stratified downdraft gasifier design employs a balanced, negative pressure concept in which the old type of sealed fuel hopper is no longer necessary. A closure is only used to preserve the fuel when there is no need to produce gas. This new technology has several advantages over the previously discussed designs. The open type permits fuel to be fed more easily without stopping the production of syngas. The cylindrical shape of the unit permits continuous flow of fuel. The stratified downdraft gasifier can take as little as two minutes from startup to produce syngas. The unit allows for less robust fuel shapes and less fuel pretreatment. Just like the standard downdraft design, many varieties of fuel can be used. The stratified downdraft gasifier design is preferred to standard downdraft, updraft, and crossdraft gasifiers for nearly all applications.